Okay, we're going to move to the upper body next. Now, i got to caution you. You do not want to roll areas where there is no bone. Now, I know that sounds kind of understood, but you'd be surprised how many times I've had to correct people as I've watched them roll. So let me say this. Below the ribs, you're not going to roll. I don't care if it's on your side, on your back, on your... You're not going to roll. What I'm going to mainly focus on is attacking the lats, upper back, excuse me, and those areas in general. I'll also show you how to do your chest, though I must admit it will take some neat time for you to get used to how to address the upper body issues because it's not quite as easy as laying on your legs. So what I'll show you is what I really find, oh, to get into the lats and the upper back, let me roll this down just a little bit, you're going to roll back and forth. If you'll notice, my thumb is up, and I'm going to play with this positioning in order to get into that spot right there. And we're going to wait till that gets about 75%. And after that decreases, we roll a little bit further, and we hold it, and we roll till we find some spots. But again, the idea is to get that tissue opened up. Play with it a little bit. Again, I'm not going to tell you exactly this is the only way to roll this area. What I am going to say is these are the techniques you'll want to use to give yourself some self-massage, pain relief, increased flexibility, and to maximize your performance. So obviously everything that I'm doing on this side, I would expect that you'll switch over and do on the other side. We're going to move from there to more of the middle back. Again, we talked about not rolling non-bone areas. Back and forth. Keeping your glutes low, hands high. Leaning to one side just a bit. And again, the other side. There we go. Now, as I promised, we're going to move on to chest. I'm going to flip you over. And I'd use some different, different ideas on this. The first one was to lay at an angle and roll back and forth. Then I've gone this direction longwise as well to get into pec minor and the shoulder. But again, play with it. If you don't want to use the energy effects tube, you can go with about a softball size if you will and do the same thing. Put it right in top, and find that spot, hand out, etc. So my intention today, or through these videos, was to try to communicate the importance of self-myofascial release. My intention was not to tell you that these are the only ways. My intention was not to tell you to get you to say that it has to be done in a specific manner, but I wanted, you to, show the, I wanted to show you the tools, the technique, and the understanding. Good luck and have fun.